I just spent more than $3,000 to go from a GTX 1080 Ti to an RTX 4090. And now I'm gonna do live testing to see if going from this to this was worth it. I will be reacting to these tests as I do them, and at the end of the video I will give my conclusion. 512 by 512 it took like 8 seconds in my old PC, so for this I'm guessing like 3 seconds would be fine, and the normal with high res, like this same image with high res, it took 1 minute, so I would guess 30 seconds for this one would be pretty nice, maybe 20, 20 would be great to be honest. So let's see if it works, I'm gonna click, let's see, generate, waiting. Wait, what? How am I supposed... <laughs> Zero seconds, what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, alright, sure, let's go with like the high res. I can't see it, my phone's on the screen. Oh, wait, it's downloading. Okay, let's click again. Go. Okay. The first generation is crazy fast. Five seconds. Wow. What the hell? Oh, wow, that's way above my expectations for this. Very fast. I wasn't expecting much of a change in regular image generation, but I definitely felt it, even though it's nothing on what's to come. So let's move on to SDXL. These tests are a little different because in my old PC I needed to use the argument med VRAM in order to run SDXL properly. But for this one, since it doesn't really need it, I just took it out. Which means that the other PC had a slight advantage in this case. In the old one, uh, regular SDXL with med VRAM took 1.3 minutes. I'm guessing with this one with 30 seconds I think that would be pretty nice. So, let's see, let's see. There's no way what this is the SDXL model, right? Yeah. Like five seconds is, is nuts for an SDXL uh, model. I was not expecting that. Like SDXL took so long on my other machine. Let's hit it with the high res. Let's yeah, generate. So the estimated time is 20 seconds, that's crazy, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, now it should load the... Now this is slower, okay. It's slower, but it's crazy fast, like it's slower compared to the other one. It's making a 2K image, and I'm recording myself, but that's crazy. How much did it take? 40 seconds. Okay, so on the other PC, this took uh, 14 minutes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy. I think I could even go with bad size here. I can I do this? There's no way I'm doing bad size with SDXL, man. On the other PC, I could not dream of using bad size on SDXL. Like no way. I could just do one image. That's it. Um, if I did bad size, it was without high res because high res one image with high res took 14 minutes. Uh, four images with high res just didn't even load. Like it, it did not work. It took two minutes to make wow man it, it's still saving yep that's it that's crazy man this is very nice because i start getting new possibilities that i didn't have on my old pc and of course a big jump on speed the next test i did was making an image like i did in this video right here where i basically used from control net to after detailer to latent couple to composable aura everything it was a little bit of a fail in my part because i didn't realize that the dynamic prompts extension uh, actually messed up my composable aura so the results won't be great but we can still see the change in speed. The regular image with no high res in my old PC took uh, 4 minutes. I also could not do like batch of it. I'd be happy with 2 minutes, 1 minute maybe. Maybe 1 minute would be great seeing the, the overall results of this. You can see it's a lot lower than a regular stable diffusion generation 512.5.512 but it is going a, a lot faster than my old PC that's for sure. In fact, all right, it was 30 seconds, I expected 1 minute. So this is very good. Let's check with high res fix. Now I don't like using high res fix if the image is not working well, but whatever, let's try. Okay, it starts immediately. On my case, it spent um, a few seconds thinking at least. Now it starts very fast and it isn't stopping either. Like it's going really, really fast. Okay, it's detecting the faces all right. And it did the faces like immediate. It, it was not, it, I didn't even see what was happening here. That's that's crazy. Okay, that's great too. But yeah, we went from four minutes to thirty seconds, and then we went from fifteen and a half minutes to one and a half minute. That's a tenfold increase. That's very very nice. I can't even begin to tell you how good this new PC would have been for the last video I posted because being able to experiment ten times faster and I could even do batch size with this. It means that the video not only comes out faster, but I can test more stuff and be more precise with the information I give.
Also, in this case, the high res I did on my old PC was only 15 minutes, but for some cases, the image used the full 11 GB of VRAM that I had, making the image generation take like 5 hours. And talking about speed increments, the 8 batch size experiment we're gonna do now is probably one of the craziest changes I've seen inside text to image. Alright, so I'm pretty hyped out for this one. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous for this one, okay? For the other one, uh, normal like this, what we're gonna do now took 40 seconds. I'm expecting this to take like 5, like how this is going <laughs> it wouldn't shock me if it went to like five seconds but realistic bleed probably will be more like like eight i'd, I'd guess okay 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 what the fuck man? What the hell? yeah so five <laughs> wow that's crazy man what the hell and now this is the big one okay to generate this with high res on the other PC, it took one hour. Okay, one hour, one whole hour. For this, I'm guessing it will take less than 10 minutes. If it takes less than eight minutes, I'm, I'm very happy. So yeah, let's generate, let's click. I'm not gonna stop recording for now. Uh, yeah, eight seconds, you're not taking eight seconds to do this. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. You have to, uh, to high res, bruh. Wait, wow, there's no way. Bro, there's no way, like this, what? Okay, let him finish. Yeah, this is high res. What? Okay, so, wow, what the hell? Like, so we went from one hour <laughs> to 40 seconds. What? How is that much of a change? By the way, I can see and hear my PC. The other PC was so loud. I'm generating AI images with this. And I'm getting no noise. It's at 23 degrees <laughs> and there's no noise. It's literally just quiet. And this is what you would hear if I were to try to record myself while on my old PC. Yeah, about 90 times faster than on my old PC. That's just nuts in my opinion. From here on, the rest of the tests are just utility tests. Instead of just testing the speed, we will be testing if this new PC can pass the tests or not. Starting with the max resolution I can take an image to with just image to image and no scripts. The idea will be to use this high res image we had, import it into image to image and multiply it by 2, and then try to multiply it by 2 again. So the first time I did this on my other PC, uh, upscaling by 2 took 8.5 minutes. Right, so first off, let's see this. I'm guessing it would take like 1 at the speed that this, this thing is going. I'm not sure, maybe 2, 1, maybe 2, I would say. It looks like it's gonna take a minute. I don't know, Rick. Looked a lot faster than 1 minute. Uh, 26 seconds. Now, that's the first upscale done, and very fast as we can see. On my older PC, the next step I only could multiply by 1.25, and that took 18 minutes. On this one, I'm not sure, I don't know. I don't know if this PC can get the image to 4K directly. I have no idea, I sure hope it does, but I wouldn't be very upset if it didn't. Uh, on my old one, this would be CUDA error. Uh, you won't be doing this, pretty much, let's see. This one looks like that's gonna happen. Out of memory, yeah. Try to allocate 36, okay. So yeah, we're not doing 4K directly, but that's that's pretty normal. Oh, the next uh, best thing is bringing it to 3K. Let's see, generate. Oh no, no, 40 gigabytes, what the hell? I couldn't multiply by two either. Even though it's not something I'm like super sad about because that's not how you upscale anyway. I did expect it to be able to make a 3K image, but anyway, it's not a big deal. In any case, I will try that too. But first, let's compare the times multiplying by one 0.25. Yep, it worked, all right. We have our image in how much? Instead of 18, it took one minute. <laughs> yeah, so nice speed as expected at this point. And just for you, I made the 4K image anyway using scripts. Ultimate SD upscale, uh, tile, let's see if we can. On my old PC, I haven't tested this because it probably would take like four, four years if it did it. This will probably take a while, so I'm gonna OP. And it took, by the way, uh, six minutes. Uh, this is not gonna be like a great generation or whatever. That's it, six minutes for a 4K image, that's crazy. And that done, with SDXL I also tried multiplying an image by 1.25. This, I, I could not do this, okay? In my other PC, I could not upscale with SDXL at all. So maximum image I could get, 2K. 
and 35 seconds and yeah and now on to LoRa training this is the part that had me the most excited about because on my old PC I could not really train or at least not at a comfortable rate so I really wanted to see what could I do with this one and also I wanted to thank LeForb here as he sent me some of his tests too which means I also have LeForb's results on his 3090 Using the same JSON and dataset, I will be comparing the training we did with two batches first, and then I will make one with four batches. My old PC took two hours, the 3090 took 11 minutes, and my new 4090 spent nine minutes. And now something I wanted to touch upon is that uh, with my old GPU, I could not use either BF16 nor AMW 8-bit. I could not use any 8-bit version. So now I'm gonna try a. Well, this it's the same uh, JSON file, right? But this time I, I used four batch size, and then I used BF16 and AMW 8-bit. Okay, let's see if it works. Uh, start training. Let's see if it starts fast again. Yeah, wow, okay, this is way faster than before. Another very nice thing about this PC is that it starts training immediately after I click, instead of waiting around for like 10 minutes like my old PC used to do. As far as time goes, a batch size of 4 took 9 minutes for the 4th 3090, 22 for his 3060, and for my 4090, you can see for yourselves. Okay, so now it finished, it's pretty crazy, like 5 minutes. <laughs> 6, let's, let's say 6 minutes. Six minutes for a training is very good. We went from <laughs> we went from two hours to six minutes. That's that's very very nice. And now, as a surprise, I just went a little crazy. I think I'm gonna try and train with a batch five of fifty. I don't know if that's even possible. Or <laughs> okay, so it's working and it's not even full, bro. What the hell? Like this could probably handle like seventy five. Oh, by the way, the training of 50 batches took like 4 minutes. <laughs> now, something I couldn't do on my old PC and that this one is opening the door to is SDXL LoRa training. Before this, with the exact same JSON and dataset, clicking train on an SDXL LoRa gave me a preview of 112 hours. But now... So it's been like 50 minutes since the time I hit train. And now it's pretty much done. So yeah, we went from 112 hours to less than 1. This is great, that's, that's awesome, um, I love this. Yes, great stuff. And now we only have two tests left. Well, three, depends on how you count it. Because the first one is just testing the LoRa's with an XYZ plot. Since it's pretty much the same as just generating images normally, I'm just gonna give you the times. For a regular SD 1.5, five LoRa's and three different weights, it took less than two minutes, compared to 15 on my older PC. And on SDXL with no high res, it took two minutes. Which means that now I can train and test LoRa's without wasting hours upon hours upon hours. And the last thing I want to test is very related to this topic too, because the reason I say wasting hours is because I couldn't do anything else with my PC if I was generating images. So the tests that are left are pretty much seeing if I can use my PC while experimenting or training stuff. Starting with, can I edit videos while using Stable Diffusion? Well, the answer is, it depends. I tried making an XYZ plot with SDXL and high res, so basically 2K images, and it went well if I'm just using SDXL, but when it switches from SDXL normal generation to high res fix, then it starts lagging out and I can't really edit or do anything, pretty much. Try it again with just regular Stable Diffusion 1.5 with 512 by 512 images multiplied by 2 with high res, and that went totally fluid, no problems at all. Amazing, pretty much. Um, it is still generating, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> And I can see the preview, I can see the preview pretty much perfectly, it, it doesn't stagger. Sometimes I either don't have anything to edit or I just want to relax. Bringing us to the next test. Can I play games while generating images? I tried pretty much the same as before, an XYZ plot, high res fix and SD 1.5 with 512 by 512 images. And then I run Elden Ring. And this is how that looked on my old PC with no high res fix. But this is how it looks on the new one. Running at 60 FPS, what? <laughs> what? That's kinda crazy, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording the screen properly, which means you can't see the FPS. But don't worry, I recorded it later while testing if I could train Alora and play at the same time. And no, it totally wasn't an excuse to retry Margit after I lost to him the first time. Before that though, this is something I could not do with SDXL if I was using high res fix. The same thing that happened when editing happened with Elden Ring too, resulting in me playing at slow motion. Come on. 
No, red. Must be said that regular SDXL with no high res gives no problem. And finally, as I said before, the test on SD1.5 training, which is likely to be something I do in the near future. This time recording the FPS. Okay. Let's try to parry the last time. Okay. GG Margaret, GG. It's time to answer the question I had for this video. Was it worth it? Well, just for context, every single video I make has a lot of experimenting and generations behind it. So even if I was just saving 5 minutes per generation, it is such a big deal. Keeping in mind that I could generate like, what, 500 images in one video? Even more sometimes? So for me, this is 100% worth it, since it opens the door to new ideas and more and better videos. So I can treat it as a business expense and an investment. But a more casual stable diffusion enjoyer doesn't need to generate that many images and probably doesn't care that much about speed either. So before even thinking about buying a new GPU or new PC, first you have to make sure that your stable diffusion is fully optimized and that you have a need for a new GPU. I will of course leave some resources on how to optimize a stable diffusion in the description. And if after that you still need an upgrade, think about what it is that you want to be doing with AI and what you need for it, as well as if it is likely to change in like the near future. For example, if you want to work with very very large images, then I would recommend buying a GPU with more than 12GB of VRAM. The newer the better for speed, but they get also more expensive. If in the other hand you just care about speed, just getting a newer RTX card will help a lot, mainly if you don't have an RTX. At the beginning I thought about making a video testing multiple GPUs thanks to the community's help and support, but Shadow Lilac, a wise one on our Discord server warned me about how ineffective that would be, since there are a lot of factors that I wasn't really keeping in mind. Therefore, I will leave another link in the description that showcases a study on which GPUs are faster on stable diffusion, and that it is a better done study. That way you can make a budget for yourselves and what you need. And there you go, I just wanted to see if I can make a quick video on the topic and see if it can help someone, as well as just announcing that I have a new PC. So expect better videos, faster, and more of them. I also no longer have to worry about if a video needs a LoRa to really like work out and stuff, which means that I can do more ideas and other stuff that I had in mind that I couldn't do before which is pretty nice. So thank you everyone that watched this video even if it was a little weird and not really what I do in this channel, and see you on the Discord if you have any doubts. And also big thanks to the people that were willing to help. See ya!